hello 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 anyone can hear me oh so sorry guys i forgot to hurt this shit you guys can hear me right hold on hold on no it's being hello hello anyone can hear me Hello, hello, anyone can hear me? You guys can hear me, right? Oh, I said. Hello, hello, anyone can hear me? Hello, guys, welcome to. Team. So uh, today we're gonna learn the very big. Okay. You guys can hear me, right? So I said. Hello, hello, anyone can. So guys, welcome to team. So uh, today we're gonna learn the very big. Okay. Hello, hello. So, guys, welcome to the team. So, uh, today we're gonna learn the very big. Okay. So, guys, hear me. Hello, hello. Uh, hello. Hello. So guys, we're gonna learn the very basics. So here I am using. Hello, bro. Welcome to stream. Can you? Welcome to the stream area. So here I am using the. Bro, I don't understand your language. Can you type in English? You can hear me, right? Bro, uh, I don't understand typing. If you are using uh, 3D Smith first time, Typing. If you are using uh, 3D Smith first time, typing. Hello, how about now? Using, Hello, guys, can you hear me? Sound bad voices. Ajay, welcome to stream, bro. Sagar, welcome to stream. Uh, how about now, bro? Voice is good, right? Hello, no. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Sound bad voices. Ajay, welcome to stream, bro. Sagar, welcome to stream. Uh, how about now, bro? Voice is good, right? Hello, no. hello guys, can you hear me? Hello, hello, is it okay now? Hello guys. Hello, is it okay? There is disturbance in your sound or oh, bloody gunner. Welcome to stream bro. Disturbance. 
Hi, you would make a video about how to test the human body from test from bro. I am actually an environment artist, bro. I don't think I can do that, but I'll try. Anyway, Juma, welcome to the stream. Much better. Okay, bro. I will. Is it better now? Okay, okay. Yes, screen is visible. Okay, bro. Sound is okay, right? Bro, I will. Is it better now? Okay, okay. So, okay, I will start now. Guys, please suggest for today. Okay. I will make it better next time. Okay, here I am using the uh, 2022 version. If you are using any other version, it's okay, it doesn't matter for basics, you know. Okay. So, this is called the V port. Uh, see, we have uh, four uh, different columns here. This is uh, this is the main view, I mean, perspective view. It's called a perspective, you can change it here. See orthographic uh, top bottom uh, front back left and right view. you can change it to whatever you want okay to change the layout I mean to change it to uh, different co count columns I'll show you one thing what we see to change the layout uh, just um, go to the so just press this plus icon see here and go to configure viewports here uh, you can find option layout see you can change the layout here see the columns right here we have uh, here uh, we have top and front I'll show you. You can change whatever you want to. See, just, just press apply. Okay, see. For now, I will use the default option. Okay. Sound is okay, right? Hello. okay okay to expand this viewport uh, you have to come here and just press this see this option maximize viewport option or you can just press alt plus w here you can toggle the expansion yeah, yeah okay bro sagar okay sound is okay uh, here you can toggle the expansion Okay, you go inside. Okay, hold on, hold on. See, you, you okay. okay, first, if you want to create a this box, go to the right side panel. See here. At first it will look like this okay you just it will be just one you know one column if you want to expand it uh, just go to this one this area this border just click and drag okay it will be like this you can make or see this much columns you can make for so now I will make it like this okay for me at least Okay, uh, last we will create a box, okay, simple box. To do that, go to the right side and click box, okay. Then uh, press left button, 
then hold hold down then drag to the right side or left side you auto side you want see but do not uh, leave the button okay just hold down see like this okay once you once you are here just uh, leave the uh, left button and to move the mouse upward okay like this see while doing this uh, do not press the button okay okay once you reach the uh, desired height level just press uh, left button again okay to confirm the uh, box model just press right button see okay hold on i will remove this selection brackets okay, wait it see these brackets if you don't want these brackets see these white you can just come here and um, click and uh, sorry uncheck selection brackets okay okay we have this box model so you are, if you want to reduce the size or increase the size you can just come here okay see right side this modifier panel is this panel called modifier panel just click it and come here see then select the uh, the model you want to reduce the size or increase the size then uh, we can uh, here we can adjust the size sorry uh, we can adjust the height uh, width uh, length etc or you can just uh, come here press this uh, gizmo uh, uniform scale option just press one time ok if you hold it you will see the different kind of option I will talk about it later just press it click and drag ok it will reduce the size yeah bro it's for beginners bro <coughs> Okay, you can reduce the size like that or you can uh, toggle the um, move button or rotate button and uh, uh, scale button like uh, w e r okay, w for move button e for rotation c okay r for scale and t scale okay so now this uh, box is just a black color we we didn't apply any uh, applied any material so we have to apply material so to do that uh, first we have to change the rendering options see here uh, we have to go to the rendering menu and uh, find the render setup see here click it and you will see the rendering options a different kind I have already installed a V-Ray uh, by default uh, you don't have any I mean you don't have V-Ray option you have to buy it ok it's a uh, paid program sorry paid rendering software so by default you will have this R2 renderer uh, scan line uh, view file renderer and Arnold so I will now go for scan line by default ok once you change to scan line just go to the material editor see here here is the material editor or you can just press M ok see you can enable or disable by pressing M ok wait I will reset the material and select the, uh, select the model you want to materialize Okay, then press then press this apply assign material to selection option okay here 
make sure you have checked this okay see this option show uh, shadal material viewport if you uncheck this it will it won't work it's actually working now i don't understand why oh anyway make sure you make sure you have checked this option okay okay this uh, this material is still in arnold option i will change to uh, standard material okay okay to change the materials i mean material section like render materials just click here okay select a material and click here it will open something wait for few seconds okay it will open an extra pop up window there you can see the render see scan line option i have already okay. you can see the scan line option this is the render i chose earlier okay and select standard okay this is the oldest i mean oldest version material version just select it double click it it will change the material you want okay okay now we have applied the material guys uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe if you are new here okay now if if we want to change the material color okay again open the material editor and select the uh, and apply the material again okay if you didn't do it then below down below you can see the diffuse option okay this will be the base color select the material sorry uh, select the box you want to change then the, uh, click on the diffuse section with this white color change then change it to whatever color you want see you can change all the color here see you can change all the color here Okay, then press OK. Okay. And uh, we can add a shiny look to the box. You know, I mean change the specular to do that. Already, it's already fine. Okay. We have to change the specular level. Okay. Here uh, by default is uh, zero now. We'll change it to about seventy. See the material changed. See you can see right. Okay. And if you want to change the glossiness, here we can change it to. Oh, 50 see the material looks uh, looks more shiny now okay okay now about the lightings actually i just close the material editor for now we are uh, so now we have to add a light for rendering okay just go to this bulb right bulb button lights option i mean lights option make sure you have checked the right um, uh, rendering option here also or else it won't work okay select it to standard actually scan lane rendering is a standard option see scan lane render so change it to standard lights see we have now six different lights Okay. Here I will add a an only light. Okay. Just click on the viewport to add a light. And see how place it make place it on the top. Okay. See you can see the lights right now. Okay. Okay. 
to see the lights uh, you have to come here i mean here it's uh, now it's uh, in standard option we have to change to uh, high quality see though now uh, the lights not affecting the back side of the model see but once we change this this side see okay to view the shadow of the model after adding a light uh, we have to add a play easy to make just drag and drop okay click drag and drop okay we need to add sorry we need to change the material for the plane too so you have to go to the material editor again and we have to add a new material see wait i will change to standard material see now we can see the shadows see we can see the shadows right guys don't forget to like share and subscribe we are doing a very basic course for 3 days max <coughs> okay we have added the light now the rendering part once we added the light okay once you added the light go to the render setup again okay uh, here uh, once uh, you can change to scan line okay once you have changed that you can you have to change the resolution by default it's 720p okay and 128 720p you can change the resolutions here you can add custom resolutions by default you can change to whatever you want yeah or you can choose a preset here i will show you or 720p or 1080p okay it will change the screen resolution i mean uh, rendering resolution okay here you can add the all type of rendering effects see velocity specular shadow it will be rendered uh, different frames okay we will look into that ray tracer don't see it's okay and see change the rendering option see go to this click on the render production or i can press shift q on press that see this was a just uh, simple model that's why so fast to render so i'll show you again let's click on it see this is our render to save the render uh, you have to come here and see see the save image option you can save it to a jpeg png or whatever in a file for uh, formats you want i will save it as a test on desktop see make sure you have, uh, change these options okay if you change the file size too small the quality will be very waste okay make sure you have changed it to large to get the best uh, render quality okay okay i will delete okay Okay, by the way, you can adjust the height 
uh, width and uh, length here on the right side panel if you want to add, add extra segments to the model see i will show you you can add the length segments here length width height segments all here but now we don't need those okay so i will reduce okay I'll delete the plane too. Now, if you want to, uh, if you are doing an, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, the next step, step is to convert to this model to editable poly whenever you want to model something uh, you you must do it do it this okay so you can convert to this model to editable pool in two ways first way is uh, right click on the model here right here just go down below and convert to editable poly okay or else I will undo this option or you can just select the model and come here on the right side panel uh, right click then uh, click on editable body either way it's the same okay so after that we have these options you can't see the op options without May uh, converting this model to editable poly. Okay. Okay. Here uh, we have vertex, vertex, edges, border, faces, sorry, polygon, and element. Okay. If when we choose the vertex option, you will see these four corners. Okay. For, no, sorry, eight corners see you click sorry you can't click anywhere else on the model see you show these are the vector six okay you can roll set okay. control set is and two options okay see these are the vertices we can move move down move up move. Okay. if we delete this vertex it will be like this so make sure you don't delete uh, delete this vertex is too much okay and uh, we can edge these edges to sorry uh, vertexes together wait let me try it will work right yes yes it will work so if you want to weld two vertexes together they x like example these vertexes okay select one vertex and right click on it uh, press target weld see I'll show you again select the vertex and right click then come down below press target weld then press the vertex and uh, you will see a uh, this uh, this line see you will see this line so click uh, whatever vertex you want to weld together I will click here okay see it will be like this you can do this I'll show you one more time or there is another way you uh, select uh, I can 
select this vertex together okay earlier we selected only one vertex if you want to do it uh, fast just select the vertexes together then on the right side panel <coughs> find this option weld option okay click on the right side of this settings weld option okay you can move around this option so it's like a pop-up window you can move around then see it's not welded so you have to change the values okay if we change to what the fuck it's not working sorry wait i think i have to make it closer it, it. see i'll try once more change to sorry select to see they welded to the they have to be very close to be welded to the okay okay now it's a triangle so okay or pyramid whatever Mm, that's for the welding option okay now uh, I will undo the all the options right? okay now we are back to the default option okay but now about the edges wait wait you can chamfer the these vertexes okay select the vertex and then click chamfer the settings option and change the values here i will change to drag see you can chamfer but it looks like mess but uh, don't do this okay i won't recommend doing this okay now we are going for the edges edges see and you can select the whole bo uh, box edges what if we weld it to the feet can you build no no we can't wait okay these are the edges see just like vertices but it's in just a line see uh, here is the undo and redo option you will undo it right away see this is a edge we can make it like a ring by one click okay i will show you see it selected the other three edges i'll show you once more select the edges sorry select the edge then press ring see you can grow the selection by clicking grow see it will select the whole box okay or you can uh, reduce the selection by sh press shrink but it won't work nice we will go for the ring once again and press shrink see it unselected ring these are the very basics okay
okay now we have to wait what we have to do yes chamfer <coughs> okay we okay select the edge we can just uh, make like a you know i'll show you we can chamfer this see don't use vector uh, chamfer with the vertex okay it will be a mess okay select the edge you want to change and press chamfer here you can adjust the value see we will select the whole box wait it okay you can press control a to select the whole edges okay see like that okay then press chamfer the borders will be very smooth uh, by doing this i'll show you here you can add extra uh, edge segments like this i will show you see now it's only one you can add more like two three it will be smooth according to the uh, layer of segments you, uh, here you can expand the uh, section see like this see like this i will make it like for now See, we uh, you can find these options in the older versions of 3D Smash. Okay. So this here, we have quad tries uniform radial and patch. We'll try for quad. Okay, this is a uh, quad option. See. These are just it. It will uh, this option will uh, make the chamfer to look like uh, quads. You uh, we can't find any tries, right? Yes, uh, we don't have a tries. Will you change to tries? What if we change to tries? See, we have tries here. Here. One, two, three, four. This is the trice. Trice means three, three edges. Okay. Quad means four edges. Trice means hope you guys know it. Uh, four edges. Uniform. I don't know what. Radial. Okay. That doesn't work. Okay, hope you guys understand this code and price. Okay. This yes, sir, welcome to the stream. Okay, that's it for the edges, I think. Actually, sir, I will have a lot of it. What do we have there again? okay okay one more thing about the edges is we can connect the two edges together okay i'll show you select uh, okay you can select like this just uh, drag and drop okay sorry drag not try and drop drag and drop into two edges you want to connect okay you can change the square see the square option to circle or Trice, I will show you. Don't ah, here, here. You can change the circle. I will show you. See? But I won't recommend these two. Okay, change. Okay, we will connect these edges to the. Okay, once we change the edges, uh, go to the right side and press connect. See this option use the settings by default it will be only one edge 
segments connect okay you can uh, increase the segments by pressing here c2 3 4 5 6 okay and uh, here we can reduce the gap between the edges see okay control study or you can increase the uh, sorry uh, move move around the edges okay reduce the segment count for now see here we can move around the edges Okay, we change it zero. Wait. Okay. Yeah, wait. Let me connect to this. See. Hope you can see it. Papa, welcome to the stream. Okay, guys, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. i Select these edges. Then connect uh, on the right side panel. Okay. Okay, once more. Once more. All right. Okay guys, that's for the uh, edges. Hope you guys understand. Now for the border section, we don't have much to do with this box. Okay, we can't uh, select the border border because uh, we don't have any in this box. I will I will show you next time. Okay. So for the faces sorry polygon this is the polygon section okay this one see if we press ctrl a it will select the whole box option sorry uh, box faces or you can just select uh, by one by one like this see like this okay no oh, okay okay next thing we gonna learn is the extrusion part to extrude uh, something from a model or uh, or a box like this select the uh, um, select the poly one and you click on the faces like this and on the right side find the extrude option here you can find the extrude option the right side modifier panel so the settings in the extrude setting of the option by default it will be uh, 10 meter or centimeter water uh, you have selected okay by default it will be 10 you can change the values here like this you can extrude uh, out and you can extrude in okay like this okay Or you can just uh, drag this to this uh, drag the extruder part like this okay you can undo this option okay to bridge uh, two extruder part together i will show you i will extrude these two uh, faces together okay wait once we extruded this part I will extrude once more okay. 
select the faces you want to bridge together i am going to bridge this part this face and the center and press and uh, and press the bridge option on the right side see just you just have to press it like that pick a place like in the stream bro can you make a tutorial on the remodeling place okay bro sure bro i will try it on the next live or something okay now we bridge together these two parts see and wait we can i will show you on a smart one more time extrude on more time wait and by the way you can't uh, bridge these uh, like this i'll show you this one and this one you can't bridge together because it's on the opposite side but if i try see it will be like this you bridge uh, this here for now okay like that and also i can bridge these two parts together also still okay. okay let me arrange the uh, adjusts correctly okay okay if you want to remove these edges we are back going back to the edges okay if you want to remove this don't delete sorry don't press delete button okay it will damage it damage the model so undo it undo it okay select the edges you want to remove then press control plus backspace okay like that i'll show you once more select the edges you want to remove then press control plus backspace oh i never let me tell you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe okay like that we have to we can remove the edges together we can try here to see like that controls press backspace but uh, don't try to remove uh, it just like this okay i'll show you what happens see it will be like this you have to reconnect these vertexes to the okay these are the smoothing roof i will we will look into later okay let us not yeah okay now we are we so extrude options uh, be well okay be well on okay now we are going to the be welling parts okay it's uh, almost uh, like the extrusion but different okay i'll show you just select the face you want to be on press it uh, we now we have here we have this extrusion option i mean you can change the uh, height 
and then uh, change the expansion I will show you you can expand it like this see or you can reduce the size of the expansion you want to make it like a triangle or pyramid or you call it okay that's the bevel okay we can, we can like extrusion we can also uh, be well in, in and out I'll show you see we can go inside see we can go uh, do in and out okay or now we will do it out so about next uh, we can we can inset okay i will show you about the inset select the face you want to add an extra layer i mean uh, inner layer i will show you like this if we if you reduce the size of the uh, face it will be like this okay so to do it properly how to select the face and go to the insert option on the right side see face, sorry face polygon and go to the insert option on the right side see this is the right way to add an extra inner layer uh, for a model you can reduce the so you can make it short or large like this see don't go for too short then it will be like this if you go to go for a minus value sorry minus value sorry sorry my bad sorry can make it short and large okay we can make an extra layer without closing this uh, insert option we can make an extra layer I'll show you see first we made this one layer if you want an extra layer without closing this uh, option just uh, press the X, uh, plus button okay see we can make extra to we can make countless no. see then press there okay okay and we, uh, we can okay to adjust here back to adjust again guys to extrude these edges i mean these we are just we just made um, select the edge then double click that edge to uh, select the other edges like this i will show you one click then double click like that okay to extrude this in to extrude this you can go to the extrude option like the like we did in polygon section go to the right side and press extrude see extruding edges will be like always always will be like this see it's almost like beveling the uh, beveling the polygon okay here also we can uh, expand the uh, size see it's almost like, almost like viewing okay like you can go for inside see like this or uh, 
outside make that oh no you show your small okay click on the extrude option i will place this in outside can reduce the length like that okay now what to what okay. now about the element this is the final section you can select the whole don't you see sir idu thadu see sir thanks for the super chat nnum parayanilla thanks ee super chat super chat alla ye marne Guys, okay, today we will be discussing the only the basics. Okay, we will continue with advanced techniques. I mean, modeling like interior or something tomorrow. Modeling X. Okay, I am doing this first time, guys. Ah, oh, shit. Yes, sir. Thanks. We see you in the next video, Anta. Okay, guys. Here the um. element uh, final section of the model <coughs> usually we use this to uh, move around the model okay after converting it to an editable poly or uh, detach from another sorry another part of the model i will show you here uh, we will select the polygon and uh, select this pyramid like thing whatever it is and you can detach it from this existing box model see i'll show you uh, if you uh, move this this pyramid thing before detaching it will be like this see It will be like mosquito. So uh, sorry, spider net. It will be like this. So to avoid that, select that part, then press detach in the right side. Okay. Okay. Leave it as. Leave it as it is. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. you can also uh, um, detach like uh, like an element and as a clone okay i show you. if we detach like an element or if we want to detach like an element is press detach the element press okay <coughs> after that if we move it say it will be separated from the original model Okay, I will show you the another option. Select this. Okay, so okay. Then press detach again. Then check this option. Detaches clone. Then press okay. See, it will be like this. Uh, like an extra. i mean duplication of that uh, part it will be duplicated okay see it's like a copy paste work okay can i delete that i will now i will detach it as an element we can detach like that but uh, 
it will be uh, still will be attached to the original model see it's not det uh, detached completely so if you want to detach from remove from the original model just click it detach leave it uh, leave it with the default options okay just hook, press okay see now these are the these are completely different two parts okay guys don't forget to like share and subscribe okay now here we can use the border thing we left here earlier see this thing it uh, this border option will work only like here i mean i'll show you we can't use it anywhere else okay see we can't use it anywhere else okay see we can only click here like this we can move around like that can drag a drop sorry frame drop can drag like that so we so to close this hole in this model we will make a couple of holes right on here on here on here on here to close this uh, hole in the model select that select the border option border and you click on the hole you want to this one click okay you don't have to double click just one click then find the cap option the edit the borders see edit the border section you can find this cap option select it Reze, welcome to the stream okay I level up okay select the border option and you can find this uh, cap um, cap option the edit the border section of the modifier panel see if you press cap the hole is gone I show you once more like this see um like that <clears throat> uh, also one more thing we can also bridge two edges together see so, uh, i will made this hole again ashvra welcome to the stream uh square shimbra shimbra kandichu oru square to welcome to stream bro retro point 23 seems better from using it today yeah so it is most 23 from least i think i should try it okay we can um, we can bridge two edges to the Russian Shimbra welcome to stream again okay we can uh, bridge these edges together I will show you and but before that I have to show you the extrusion for edges okay we can also extrude the edges okay I forgot to turn select the edges hold down shift mm, then uh, use mouse left click and drag hold and drag okay like this see see like that we can extrude it just also see i forgot to tell sorry and if we can reduce the uh, size i'll show you 
like this see so wait i will uh, extrude these two to the okay you press uh, control to select the multiple edges okay like this you should one two then press uh, hold down shift then press left click oh. sorry left not left click hold the left click then drag okay okay to um, bridge these edges to the uh, select these two then here on the right side panel you can see the bridge option like the faces we did earlier okay then press settings see it like that okay also we can order uh, segments in the those bridges as we uh, merge it together like this no we don't have these segments okay sorry now we don't have it no no we don't need these segments okay we'll we'll show you once more see select this one select this one then press bridge it will close it once more okay but the simplest ways to way to extrude it you see use the polygon and then select the faces you want to extrude see you can do either way like that guys don't forget to like share and subscribe okay we did it so next uh, we are talking this right next next okay okay i will delete this model okay we'll create something new mm, this time we will create uh, okay one more time we have to create a box okay just like that drag and drop select the material you want to add and apply it okay to uh, duplicate this model you can duplicate without converting to editable poly just hold on shift then select the model then click and drag okay then it will ask uh, with a pop-up window like this you can make a copy or you can make uh, like a exact live copy i mean whatever changes you make the in this um, base model it will affect the it will uh, affect the right model okay i'll show you this is the copy version and then this will be the instance see this is a base model this is uh, just a copy we'll move it okay this is the instance option now here okay i'll show you if we change anything in this model it will affect here too i'll show you if we change the height see it will work like a mirror see ting ting we change the height width and the length okay but not for this model 
keep in mind this was uh, just a copy okay won't work for this only for the instance option see i'll show you some see this option try to change uh, click check this instance option see like this but if we change this to convert to this to editable body it was the uh, mirror option like mirror option it won't won't work see these um, models are still in um, basic but this one i converted to editable body these are still in still not converted okay so uh, not not that if we change this see it will work, they will work together they don't need this okay <laughs> if we uh, convert this also to editable body and then change this one see nothing happens Okay, that was that's it. Then <coughs> okay, we can if uh, we can attach two different models to the okay even if it's convertible or not convertible to editable poly or not we can still attach to two models okay okay select the model then click uh, attach. then uh, select the model you want to attach with the base model see like that you can attach two different models if you want to detach from detach a model from it just uh, go to the element section press it select the model you want to detach then on the right side you can detach see here like like before we have two option you can detach to element or detach as a clone uh, now uh, okay i am going to just detach it okay see these are now no these are two different models okay then 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 what's next Guys, if you have any doubts, just comment down below. Okay. Okay, that's for box. Okay, that's for the box. See here. Um, these are the standard primitives we uh, you everyone usually use for the modeling. Okay. we have the box here have sphere and we have geosphere see so geosphere and sphere this is a um, default basic sphere with the quads okay see four four side 1 2 3 4 but this one here with the trace see only three side one two three that's the difference between geos this one is geosphere this one is basic yes yes sphere okay i will delete the trace in sphere we can reduce uh, size or uh, radius of segments like this see like this if we um, check the slice on option it will make see. 
still be like can make it like this or you can just animate it okay i am not good enough to animate sorry you can animate 3d model like this see here you can add keyframes here see like this okay the hemisphere is uh, like the half of the sphere will be deleted not deleted removed you can go to a minus value i think okay. no 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 can go to minus value like that okay see this are the smoothing option see if you uncheck smooth option it will be like like crystal side see uh, on, but once we check the smooth like that these are the basics okay okay gs your cone we have cone here Okay, okay click it and drag with the left click okay then uh, release uh, left click uh, move on top move the mouse on top then click again then um, move the mouse without holding left button okay once we have the desired angle just click once again with the left click then finally to release it press right click okay we here we can reduce the height segments and uh, radius see bottom radius top radius I okay I'll show you once more okay click on cone left click and drag hold and drag okay then release it then move the mouse upward then click again left click then move the mouse down then click on small left click finally right click to confirm it okay if we don't do like that it will be if we forget to release a click or press a click see if we if i uh, right click in this part it won't work i'll show you see If you right click again it won't work so you have to do left click okay again left again left click then right click okay that's what the cone and also height segments sorry can I just sorry add extra segments for the heights the cap segments here on the bottom see next uh, we have the cylinder it's like a basic principle of box uh, and cone okay click and click hold drag okay left with the left click then go top then left click then right click to release it again we can change the material to standard with uh, pressing m on the m on the keyboard press m again to 
toggle the material editor or you can just use here this material option here here we can adjust the uh, sides of the cylinder see you can make it like a box or uh, triangle so we can um, reduce height segments see now it's look like a triangle and go just the heights radius okay as for the um, cylinder two balls the same okay so just like the cylinder Ashim mama I can do the stream again. Yes, I will come to the stream again. Okay, now this one is different. Click, left click, uh, hold, drag. Okay, then uh, release, left click. Uh, go inside. Okay, here. Okay, go inside. Then left, left click again. Then go up. Then left click again. Then right click to lace it. Okay, it will make it tube. Okay, here uh, we, can, we have the two two radius option. One for in, uh, interior, one for exterior. I think. Yes, one for Shambhu great. <laughs> Shumama, thanks. Okay, one, one for exterior, one for interior. Yes, oh, this one is interior. See. Then height. Then the uh, height segments, we don't need it for now. Like the cylinder, we have these uh, sides. You can uh, change it to triangle box or triangular box or hexagon, pentagon, authorities. Like that. Okay. Now, next, we have doors this is just a spear okay if you not a spear it's the torus like a tube or something it's like this click hold and drag then move mouse without holding the left button to adjust the in depth right sorry adjust the radius and uh, then click left finally click right okay you can test right yeah we can test this model wait See, we can test the model. My son second. <coughs>
okay everyone okay we can test this model i'm seeing this first time okay okay let's okay next uh, we have this stupid teapot it's nothing just it's a basic teapot oh we can remove this part right i don't think you can find the, these options i mean not the teapot option I mean the teapot uh, body parts options in the older versions of 3ds max okay text we have text plus okay. see this is the lines see on the right side you have uh, um, shapes option lights um, camera helpers space warps system in the shape option we have lines i'll show you draw something see you can draw lines Okay, once you finish, just right click, okay. And then go to the modifier panel. We have uh, like a vertex segment this line. Vertex is like the uh, no, older vertex we discussed earlier, okay. Here we can just the curve of this plane or you can just uh, right click or you can just right click the vertex and this then select a smooth okay that's not smooth okay i will change it to this your corner see you can adjust the core spline like this then do it okay can we rotate this plane wait Yes, we can rotate also by pressing here or uh, just press E on the keyboard, okay. W for uh, movement, E for rotation, R for scaling. Or you can just press W, E, R, press here. <coughs> here you will adjust uh, the curve weight, guys. Okay, this is just a simple stupid shape, okay. We can rotate like this. Like a rope or something. Actually, we can make a rope and it's not uh, with this plane easily. Okay. okay now this is a symbol spline to make it uh, I mean um, convert to editable poly or view like a mesh you have to come to the right side uh, it's called a rendering option uh, if you want to see it in the render I mean like here to show it in this uh, rendered window you have to check this option enable and render 
ഓക്കെ ഇഫ് യു വെൻറ്റ് വീറ്റ് ഇൻ റീപോർട്ട് സോറി വ്യൂ പോർട്ട് ചെക്ക് ദീസ് ദീസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഓക്കെ സി വെയിറ്റ് ഐ വിൽ ചേഞ്ച് ദ മെറ്റീരിയൽ ഓൾസോ Okay, we can now see it in the viewport. Okay, here we can change to radial and rectangular. Uh, now we are using the radial option. It uh, works like a tube. In the rectangular, we will see something like this. Okay. Toss now. in the radial we can change the thickness of the tube see like this we can change the thickness wait wait okay we can change the thickness and the sides sides means is the c these here sides we can adjust here oh we have minimum three sides okay maths okay and if you want to add extra segments like these areas um, go to go to interpolation then you can see the step, step option steps and then increase the count see you can add more segments like uh, with uh, interpolation if you uh, check adaptive option you will see something like this in the corners see extra segments in the corner see 1 2 3 4 5 okay we don't need adaptive what if i uncheck optimize sorry optimize the happens okay that's all right so you can also convert this to editable pool okay i'll show you like i said earlier i can right click and convert to editable pool see here or you or you can just click here select the model wait a okay see auto smooth option okay we can uh, select the model and right click on editable poly see now it's an editable poly make sure you do this every time after creating something with a spline okay because uh, it won't export to game engines like unreal engine not even in uh, game engine it won't export uh, without a I mean, it won't export like that with the uh, spline model. You have to convert to editable poly. Okay, we are going back to editable poly. Sorry, uh, spline again. Here uh, we have already discussed the vertex. Now we have the segments. See, segment means the gap between the, the gap, gaps between these vertexes. See? this one this one we use this one to add extra uh, vertices in these gaps select the segments segment then 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 
come down here in the geometry panel down below we have the divide option uh, change the count to whatever segment sorry vertex you want you will change to 4 then press divide see now we have extra force uh, vertexes in, the, in these segments only I will show you once more I hit select this segment I will add two see we have added two more vertices ok going back to default state ok ok that's about uh, segments ok if you want to delete it just select it and delete it ok mm, or you can also detach it see select the segment you want to detach then press it sheet now it's a different spline model ok this one is different ok now if you want to uh, attach uh, it back to the main model then select it mm. in the right side panel you can see the uh, attach option then click on the spline you, you can only attach to a spline to a spline ok then click on the spline you want to attach to see attach sorry select the model sorry select the spline press attach in the geometry section uh, then click on this uh, spline model you want to attach to see it's attached or you can also build build two splines together I'll show you okay here I will rotate this spine oh if you want to reset this pivot you know you can reset this pivot this pivot and go to the pivot section uh, affect the pivot only click on it then click on the alignment section send it to object see ok here we will rotate this plane for now Okay. Here, I will attach these two together first. Okay. Then select the vertex. Select both vertex together. Uh, and then, then in the weld section, increase value a little bit. With C we can build we can build these planes together and then press corner see we can build it ok going back to the default state Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. No, 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 we can't sorry it. Okay, we see that now we can 
these are the, uh, these are the uh, various plane models these circles these are only spline models see these all are spline models eclipse so it works like basic lines so nothing to nothing extra okay now we have got to check Ashimama, thanks welcome back again Now we will look for the UV and unwrap. Okay, only basics. Okay, we'll create a symbol box. Uh, add a material. Mm, you have to convert to editable poly. Okay, before uh, unwrapping its UV. So right click and convert to editable poly. Okay, convert to editable body okay then you can uh, can see this modifier list right click on it uh, drop down below uvw map this is uh, just a uvw map it's not unwrapping okay so uh, since uh, this is uh, just a simple box model we have to change the mapping to box okay like that okay that's it for some wrapping uh, uvw map yeah this is not a detailed version okay it's just a basic version of unwrapping for beginners uh, it will be fine I think I think we need to uh, add a texture right okay to add a uh, texture to the model go to the material editor I will show you go to the material editor down below you can see the map section Mm, in the diffuse color option you can see the no map see no map added so I'll click on it okay then then, then. okay uh, it will show a pop-up window like earlier so come down below uh, below general option click bitmap okay double click on it then you can add a texture you have already downloaded feet desktop uh, text is down time is down okay i have this tile texture once you have add, uh, added the texture select the model then see it's already showing if it's if it is not showing just press here okay here here see this option assign material to selection just click on it okay wait i will reduce the glossiness and speckler Okay, one more thing I have to arrange the tiling option. Here you can adjust the texture tiling. Okay, I'll show you once more in the diffuse section. If you uncheck it, it won't show. Wait. See, 
if you unzip it won't show the text up okay we'll go to the diffuse section you can add more tiling see like that i will if i add four by four it will tile more see so i will go back to the one by one okay close it see if i change this uh, mapping option to planar or something it won't work properly see it, uh, it will work only this um, c perspective c view if i change here it will go to the left side see if i change it to x it will go to the other side of the box so you have to um, change it to box option later i'll reset it okay you can also change the tiling here see if we change it to four by four you don't have to change the material editor okay if you want you can change it also here here by one or you can reduce it more i go to point two point two see point two point point four point four this one If I change it to cylindrical, it won't work on a box. Wait, I will make a cylinder option. Wait. We will texture the cylinder to uh, go to uh, editable poly. Um, go to UVW map and change to cylinder. Wait it and probably see um, box option will work on cylinder. Yeah, it will work. Okay, but if you want to add the top uh, texture on the top side or on the bottom side, you have to press cap section. See here, you have to check the cap option. Planar also don't work. Don't work. I think box is the best option. Okay, let me see. But uh, the problem is with the box of shine cylinders. You can see the these edges, right? See these seam edges. You can see, right? That's why you have to use the cylinder option in cylinders. I think it's not. See, okay, it's working now. I think that's the problem with the box for uh, box mapping for cylinders. You can't see it anymore. What if I change it to cylinder again? Set option. See. Cylindrical mapping for box not working properly. Like a stretch or something. Looks like a stretch. 
so box is the best option i think see here is a c merges you have to hide it okay delete hold on if we we can okay wait. if we change the model after adding we will double map it will be like this i'll show you so i have already added evw map so if i change the model look see okay it's looking fine i think but if i extrude or instead uh, after adding a bw map see this will be the problem so you have to make sure you have come finish the model then only add uv w map okay it won't work if you um, modify the uh, model after adding the mapping so you have to do it of uh, at, at last okay we will add it once more time okay for a model like this i mean like a symbol box model or something like this uh, we can uh, use a vw map but um, but for a complex model like characters or something big you have to add this i'll show you mm, add this and drop uw option so you can uh, undrop it and undrop it you know for a better look uh, if this uh, uv this option i will show you later okay for now i will show you uh, we flatten this model okay it will work it's working uh, it's working because uh, it's just a simple model okay otherwise you have to do it uh, every faces every faces manually i'll show you see we have now arranged this if uh, this one was a complex model you have to do like select the faces then 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 see this one I click on planar map mm, and then we have to adjust the uh spray then we have to align the uh, faces on the right direction i mean uh, not that right in uh, direction uh, which it should be okay mm. see after that you have to relax it a bit good morning Morgan. welcome to the stream good morning bro it's good afternoon almost so you have to uh, relax a bit okay. then you have to pack okay these are just uh, simple basic steps okay to relax it. relax this one
okay after uh, finishing the unwrapping you have to pack it pack this uh, uvs to do that just click here okay okay this is a bit uh, advanced <coughs> method for uh, your unwrapping uvs now we will now we have uv double now okay one more thing once uh, make sure you don't do this okay once you remove or uh, hide it it won't work okay sometimes make sure you don't do that your hours of work might lose okay see if i open uv editor man what so we don't delete that okay that's for the uvw map here you can adjust the length uh, with uh, see we are not satisfied with the uh, stretching okay if your uh, tester is stretched or something like this you can uh, reduce the stretchness like that or with a single click like this see it, it will fit into the model then then show no scenes okay that's it for uvw map okay after doing that if you want to you can collapse it okay right click on the uvw map then collapse all it will be psycho gaming welcome to the stream biston clown welcome to the stream guys don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for joining the stream okay i'll just update the law per second day okay so i couldn't see who who subscribed to our channel i think i missed it hi bro psycho Welcome to the stream. Whoever subscribed, thanks for joining. I think I missed our subscriber, guys. Whoever it is, thanks, bro. Okay, that's it for the UVW map. Okay, I think I forgot to say this. Here you can change the quality of your viewport, okay? Now we are in high quality. Our lights and lights won't work without this high quality, okay? See, if I change the standard quality. If I change the standard quality, the lights won't work, okay? But if I change it to performance mode. This uh, the textures won't work, okay, guys. Uh, guys, okay, be careful. If you are in the performance mode, the textures won't work. By default, you can change. I think yes, you can change. You can change all the settings here, okay. Mm, DX mode means uh, I think it's a DirectX mode. It will work, right? It's it's a gaming mode, okay. then 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 these are the v port uh, v port rendering options i will we will talk about it later 
and then show, show safe place see uh, this uh, frame option will help you to render the specific portion of a report okay then I think that's it. Ah, default shading. Ah, these are the uh, shading options available in 3ds Max. Now we are in default option. The facets. This will it won't show any shadows. Okay. I think so. No. Sorry, my bad. my bad rounding box it's a border it will only show the border it's a blue box see here then flat color then then hidden line then clay this uh, you play the like brush model right mm, okay okay to this light will can okay this is a standard only light okay you can add it like add it here in the light section here change it to standard option press omni then press on the viewport and right click okay you can turn off shadows uh, turn on shadows then you can turn on the light switch see okay we'll add a, add a sunlight i'll show you to add a sunlight uh, we have to wait we have to make a plane first to see the shadows we must make a plane drag and drop click change the material to default Okay, to add a sunlight. Go to the right section, standard, uh, free direct light. Okay, click on it. Sorry, not this. Target director. See. directly I think we can add it in VRA hold on okay change it to VRA you don't know we will not see this VRA option okay you have to download and install the VRA and the VRA sunlight go to if front view then press click and drag would you like to automatically add a VRA no 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 and then right click to finish it okay but uh, it will do sorry it won't uh, render properly okay because these materials are only standard materials to and i am using this v-ray sunlight okay if you want to render properly angel gaming paradise welcome to the stream Okay, if you want to render it properly, you have to uh, change the render first. Right, pause this. Okay, change the render first to uh, V-Ray. Then change the materials. Okay, change this to go here. 
click here and click on the VRA option then 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 double click on VRA material here then select the models you want to change the material yes click on then we can render it we can render it on the viewport also to do that but here I click on here uh, click on the VRA viewport uh, IPR bro where are you from I don't know bro I am from Abhishek I am bro I am from Toronto bro I am from India I am from India Click on the V-Ray iPod VPRC. You can't see anything, right? Because uh, this settings, I will change the um, V-Ray sound settings to symbol. Okay. See? That's it. Abhishek, if oh. Abhishek, bro, where are you from, bro? Welcome to the stream. Anyway. Okay, we'll change the material to something else. It. Uh, we'll change the um, floor material. I mean, the plain materials to. You do it. You have to do the roughness. Roughness, change the roughness to about point two. I think it will work fine. See, you can see the shining right on the floor. At about two point one. Shamir Gaming, thanks for joining. Thanks for subscribing the channel, bro. Bro, Union Territory State, Kerala. Kerala, bro. Abhishek, Kerala. Abhishek, my lady, no? Okay, you can see the shining, right? Then, then we can change the color here. But okay, working. Okay, the now if I render it. Okay, it's working okay, fine. So this is only a V port rendering. Okay, uh, with a V ray. You have to get it if you want to render. By default, you won't see the VR option inside the radius max. This is important, right? Uh, okay, it's the final. See, this will be the rendering window. Guys, run for it, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, see, rendering finished. You can um, save the image also here, like uh, JPEG, PNG, or uh, Okay, then then what did we missed anything? So 
so guys today we discussed about the very very basics of 3d max if you have any doubts uh, or if you want to know something more you can just ask and uh, we will continue this live on live very soon with more advanced techniques or modeling okay and thanks for joining the stream if you have any doubts just ask Okay, see you, sir. Okay. Okay, you, you won't see any of these options in your 3ds mass. Okay, don't worry about it. These are the VRA um, toolbar. You won't see it. I can remove it. See, you will see like this. By default, you won't get it. Okay, guys. Uh, anything else you want to know? Just yes, ask. Or we can in the stream now if you don't have any notes i think i should end the stream then i will show you one more thing <coughs> if I, you can add a 3d text like this Okay, after doing that you can convert to sorry uh, convert to editable poly then add a different material okay white material DHA in case see this is is uh, only just a plain plain model okay to make it like a 3d you can um, do it in different ways I will show on way like uh, add this shell option in the modifier panel nothing to ask today okay of shape uh, shell and then you can increase the size here Then collapse it if you want it to be put. This okay, guys. Thanks for joining the stream. We will continue in the upcoming days. Guys, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, if you have any doubts just comment down below anyway i'm gonna uh, end the stream now everyone again thanks for joining the stream and i will see you see you next time okay guys guys i'm ending the stream now bye see you soon